It looked easy. But truthfully, that's the first time Honey's ever stood when she's been bareback on a, with a halter at a mountain block. This is not something that I've done before. And a lot of that was intuition based. Led her up to the mountain block and intuitively asked her to stand. So that allows you to realize it can be about the mindset. She's taking the left turn. We're gonna just make that left turn my idea <laughs> because she wanted to go back to the gate. But in order to get the still standing at the mountain block, you have to be calm. Oh. Oh. You have to be breathing correctly. In your mind's eye, you're seeing and picturing exactly how you want it to look. I took her there, she stood beautifully, I broke it down, pet her, thanked her for standing, stood in front of her, asked permission to walk by her side. She kept her neck straight, stating it was okay. As I took my steps up the mountain block, I was still asking permission, she stood still. I pet her on the shoulder. I stood at the top of the mountain block, took my reins that I had one, so I could bring her head around if need be, and asked permission to get on her back. Each step of the way, it was permission based. Every step of the way. That's what makes it a two way conversation and a dialogue. The breath is correct. The mindset is correct. The body language is correct. Bringing that authenticity to the table, but also bringing a liaison to the table where she does have a voice. She does have a choice. It feels so different when you're bareback. You're sitting right on them. They feel you. A lot of the dialogue would be the energy. And the dialogue is that the energy would go straight to the heart because you're sitting just over their heart. She immediately said, let's go to the gate then. Once you're on there, let's go out. My dialogue was, let's stay here for a moment. So we'll take a left instead of a right. And then I asked her to come back to this mountain block. She did just that. My intention was that she stands here so that I could talk to you guys and say, this is a vision that you've had forever. Everybody wants to go bareback. Everybody wants to feel the horse. Everybody has the dreams to connect with their horses in this way and you can do that. When you take it slow, go with the permission, get the relationship, the true partnership, be authentic with yourself, with your horse, and then you can feel them. You don't have to rush it. You can stand by the mountain block, get back off. You can sit on and just sit here and enjoy it. You can ask them for a few steps and you can build on it just as you wish. Riding with a halter is beautiful. I've not yet met a horse that can't ride with a halter. We teach the bitless. We teach riding with the halter. We teach bareback riding and intuitive riding. So if I think left, we'll see what happens. She can respond with her ears. I'd love her to walk a little bit left. She's saying no, but I'd love her to walk just a little. That's exactly it. Well, I had a little more than a little in mind. She said, if you say a little, we'll go two steps. So maybe the clarity of how much is a little would be good too. So the clarity of what you're thinking, very, very important. Another time we'll talk about riding with your seat bareback, but for tonight it was about permission base and to really fulfill your dreams with your horse, to be able to get on the horse's back and feel them this close. It doesn't take half an hour. You can take five minutes and connect with your horse in this way. Enjoy. Thank you.